So, I was out in the garden spot here doing the tail end cleanup. And this is my deal. So pretty. Um, anyhow, as I was looking at it, some of it's starting to dry up. So, this here deal head's actually almost brown. So, I'm going to harvest this all up. And that is done by me cutting it. Okay, Eva's going to be the cutter here. So, she's just snipping them off. Snip them all. I got some yeah, that's all right. Here, just snip them all off down here. Well, I could pull them a wheel because I'm not putting my deal here next year. But the stalks, the heads, the leaves, they're all usable. So we want the whole plant if we can. You're videoing. <laughs> okay, so I have this deal here where I harvested it earlier. And um, this is your deal head. Right now it's a pretty dill pickle-ish, yellowish color. Um, this where your seeds is inside these here flowers. Some of them is dried up already, which is fine. So you've got your dill head, your dill seeds, whatever you want to call them there. I literally just snip them off about where the first leaf comes in at. So that's my dill head there. Um, now, let will find a good one example for you here. There you go. We'll do this and all right. So this one here. So you can see it here. The deal head and it broke off into two. But then you've got these here. These is your leaves. And when you buy deal weed at the store, that's what you're buying is your leaves and stems. You can just break them right off there and then they'll go up to be dried. And then I'll put them up in my cabinet as deal weed for when I do any pickling and stuff later this year or next year I guess because this year's about up but with this the stem is just as usable as the dill weed and the dill head so when they say you need a sprig of dill what they're talking about is like a piece of leaf about eight inches of leaf or so um, there is like equivalents of and all that I don't really know it right off I just know I like my stuff dilly, so I just put a lot of dill in there. But these, as you can see, I'm cutting them all off. And then you can hang them to dry upside down like this with the, you know, rope tied around them or whatever. But when the, when the seeds get dried up, they'll start falling out. And then you'll lose them unless you put them down inside of a paper bag. We pick paper bags because um, it's more breathable. It don't cause moisture and stuff in the plant. So a lot of times I just throw it down in there and then when they get dry I just start shaking it and help knock the seeds off. And then so I'll have my heads full of the seeds in the bag. I'll put my dill weed over here and that'll be laid out to dry. And then your stem. The stem can be used in place of things like your dill weed. Not your dill weed. <laughs> Okay, your bay leaves and stuff like that. It just adds extra flavor to your soups and your stalks and stuff. So I always just cut the stem up to about eh, whatever size I think I want them to be. Usually I just pick a couple inches. And then I just stick them down into a jar for when I need them. That way, because I don't know where to get a bay leaf from. And that way I've got flavor on hand because, well, dill's delicious. So, but that is how I am harvesting up all of my dill. And then when I do do make my pickles, it would be things like, you know, I'll add in the sprig of dill or whatever, but I always just take the head and throw down in there too. First off, it looks super pretty and cool in the jar. And there may not be no weed or seed left in it, but there's still the flavor in the head. So, you know, extra flavor. Can't go wrong with the dill taste on anything. And it's just so pretty. But anyhow, that's all I do with my deal to harvest it up. And then once this is done, I'm done. And then hopefully I'll have a good bit to get me started next year. But like I said, I'm going to lay, I'll put these up to dry. And then I'll put this, the leaves and stuff up to dry. And then that'll be considered my deal weed. And I'll put it away. And then I've got my little stems. So that's it on the harvesting of deal. Very easy done for a very easy herb that I don't have much to do with. Okay, 
the deal is done. You can see here I've got my pile of stalks, stems, whatever you want to call them. And then I've got my dill weed over here looking all green and dry and grassy. And then here I've got my heads. I bundled them all together and tied them just because it'll make my life a lot easier in the long run. So I'm just going to drop these down inside my bag here. And then that'll catch them. And honestly, I'll hang this up in the laundry room or the food pantry. And I'll forget about them until next year when I'm doing pickles and they'll be like, oh wait, where's my deal? So I'll write on this, of course, because it's not popcorn. But that is it. That is the deal. All worked up with the exception of the roots and dirt.